Hey guys, welcome back. I just want to take a minute here to do a quick video on Unity Player Accounts. Uh, this is a service that's been out for quite a while, um, and the documentation is a bit lacking on it. So I decided to make a quick video on how this works and how we can get it up and running really quickly. So what Unity Player Accounts is, is Unity's own um, branded uh, browser-based player account system. So players can log in with uh, Google, Facebook, uh, their own email address and password if you choose. And it's kind of a cross-platform, frictionless, cross-game uh, account system for your, for your players. This is different from your Unity ID that you use to log into the editor or to the cloud dashboard. With. These are for players only. And here in the docs here, uh, there's some things we have to set up first before we can jump into the editor. And this will be in the cloud dashboard. And some of the things you have to do uh, before you actually launch the game uh, you need to have a terms of service link, uh, privacy policy link, uh, and you also need uh, links uh, either like on your main menu of your game or on your website, somewhere where users can request a deletion of their account or any other um, privacy requests, either from... Um, law enforcement or whatever if someone hits you with a um you know warrant or whatever for player data for whatever reason uh they need the way to contact you so you can uh, hand over that information uh you need an email address for those kind of disclosures uh, and just always make sure that you complying with the unity terms of service so here on the dashboard uh, the first thing you'll want to do is in the player authentication, you'll go into your provide, uh, identity providers and you'll see here that these are the, all the different identity providers that you can use. Um, if you've used uh, Netco for game objects before, you're probably familiar with logging in anonymously. Uh, and this is basically using a, uh, your system registry or equivalent if you're on mobile to um, just log in per device without using a username or password or anything. Uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up Unity Player Accounts as an identity provider. And this is where you can add however many you want. If you're on mobile, you can use uh, the Google or Google Play Store, Steam, Oculus, Apple, whatever, or username and password. We're gonna use Unity Player Accounts. And here, uh, by default, it will uh, put in the name of your project. This will be this uh, OAuth client name. This would be what shows up in the web uh, when someone tries to uh, create an account or when they log in, uh, it will prompt them with um, this name is trying to um, access uh, your ID. Uh, so we will just call this you choose a platform, either PC or iOS. Uh, we're just going to use PC for now. And here is where you would have links to your terms of service and your privacy policy. Uh, you don't actually have to do this while you're in development, but uh, before you launch, you just need to make sure you're in legal compliance with your local laws. And it will give you uh, this little caution sign uh, if those links are not, uh, this is your client ID. Um, we don't need to remember this or anything. Uh, it's a secret, but in any case, uh, so at this point, we're kind of done with the cloud dashboard. Now we can hop into editor and what you'll want to do is we'll need to go into our asset resources, or you can go into services link. Once you have, um, the authentication installed. And we, you'll see Unity Player Accounts figure. Here we have that same client ID. And then this is the scope. So you can limit the scope to just email address. 
uh, or open ID or everything or nothing uh, or offline access. We'll just leave this as everything for now. Uh, there's also a custom deep link URI. Uh, I believe this is mostly for mobile, uh, but you don't have to worry about that. All right, and sample. So there is a sample in package manager. You go under authentication. Uh, I'm on 3.3.3, go under samples, and under this UI example, uh, this will have uh, various examples for your different and types here in the project in our samples by example you'll see there's an anonymous login ui example scene there's one for facebook and we're just going to check out the player accounts demo and this is just a simple uh simple ui here um, one thing to note uh this uh sample scene has a, a cloud diagnostic user reporting scene helper uh, that is probably a mistake because it has this uh, player accounts demo script on it with nothing assigned to it. Um, this shouldn't be there. I don't know how it got uh, left in the sample, uh, but this will end up causing some errors uh, if you don't delete it. This object doesn't really do anything. Same with the uh, IP till. This is probably left over from another sample or something. You can just delete these these two, but I just left them here uh, just to show what is actually there by default. You should disable them if they are uh, enabled, and then you'll be fine. So here is where the actual player account demo script should be, and where it is, uh, but it has everything assigned to it. Uh, you'll see here a sign in with Unity button, and also a player account portal. Uh, for right now, this portal is just where users will go if they need to uh, delete their account. Um, I think they can reset their password here. We'll check it out in a second. Uh, let's hop in, actually let's just show it real quick. Okay, all right, so what we'll do here, we'll just click on sign with Unity. It will pop open a new browser uh, and then it will continue with our account. Uh, I've already logged in before, but here is where you can choose what you're gonna log into. Uh, we've got Google and Apple. We don't have to do anything special here um, in our dashboard to log in with Google. Uh, you can choose a username or password, uh, and you can choose whether to stay signed in. Here's your forgot password link. If you need to, you can also create an account as well. Uh, so when they first log in and don't have an account, they can create one from here. Sign in instead, Google, I think. So now we are done. We can close this back in here and we are signed in. So we have our ID. Uh, These are the player profiles, which will show any linked accounts and, and our player ID. Pretty simple. Uh, here is the account portal. This is just playerlogin.unity.com here. And yeah, at the moment, this is just if your users want to delete their account. Uh, they can do so from here. Uh, one thing to note that deleting this account does not delete uh, the actual player from your dashboard here. Go into player management. Uh, this will still, I'm not sure if it actually shows up here, but if we had any uh, cloud save or economy data, uh, this data does not get deleted when the account gets deleted. Try this real quick. Back. Our player data is still here. Uh, even though uh, they technically can't log into it anymore. You will need to delete the data either manually, uh, or you can do it through uh, cloud code install. So there is a cloud services API here, uh, which will allow you to make um, services, Unity services tools for uh, administration stuff. So like creating accounts, deleting accounts, um, configuring, um, matchmaking, and all of that good stuff. Everything that you can do in the dashboard, you can also do through these APIs. And this will let you make like editor tools so you can make that stuff easier. Uh, we can also sign out and sign out with player accounts as well. Uh, show in just a second, these are two different uh, sign outs here. So we could sign out with just the authentication 
the player account state is still signed in, um, but the authentication service is signed out. I'm not quite sure what you would actually do with that, but it is something to keep in mind. And now with that checked, we are signed out every So let's check out the code real quick. So this is real simple stuff. Um, if you've used uh, Unity services before, you'd be familiar with the Unity services dot initialize. Uh, we also have this player account service, uh, which is separate from the authentication service. And it's actually inside the authentication service. So we'll want to, uh, after we are signed in, we'll call this sign in with Unity. This is gonna be our button that is gonna call this. And then if our player account service is signed in, then we continue on with sign in with Unity. Not signed in, then we sign in with the player account service, start sign in async. This is what will open up the browser to uh, log in there. Once we sign in in the browser, it gets the callback and then it will continue on. That's where this will fire off. Then here we have sign in with Unity. Uh, so after we click log in in the browser, this will fire off and we'll go into authentication service, sign in with Unity async, and then we pass in the player account service access token, which will be different from the authentication service access token. And then once we sign in here, then that's it, we are signed in. And here we update our UI accord. And it's a bunch of the UI stuff. Um, here is where we get our external IDs. So if we are linked to any other services, if you linked with Steam or Oculus or whatever, this can pull that up so you can um, display that or log in or whatever. And yeah, that's basically it. To uh, get the player info, I think it is just, uh, yeah, it's just saved to the external IDs. So we get it here. Authentication service, instance, player info. It just gets populated. There's also like a get player info. Uh, yeah, so here is the account portal URL. Uh, this is hard coded, uh, constant, I believe. And if, when you, if you ever want to open a web browser, you'll just use application.openurl. It. So yeah, if you guys have any questions on this, please drop a comment below. And uh, yeah, we will see you next time.